This is Will's Front, brought to you by theunshackled.net. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> 10 years ago, we had a march. It wasn't quite as big as this, but we had a march 10 years ago. It was our first march, 12 months after the passing of the Abortion Law Reform Act 2008. Interestingly enough, the health minister who pushed that through was a bloke called Daniel Andrews. <laughs> Hasn't improved much, has he? <laughs> but one of the speakers at that particular march, that first march, was a bloke called Greg Smith. He was a member of parliament from Sydney. He went on to be Attorney General of New South Wales. Very strong pro-lifer. Well, here, 10 years later, we have his son, who was elected to the Parliament of New South Wales in March and uh, is the member for Wollongilly, I think that's how you say it. Uh, uh, Bradman's territory, in fact, uh, he tells me at, at, at great length. And he has become, in a very short period of time, one of the great, strong, strident, pro-life voices of the New South Wales Parliament. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you to give a very, very warm Victorian welcome to Nathaniel Smith. Well, thank you, Brother Finn. And it's wonderful to be here in Victoria. I think I've won the award of coming the furthest today, or there might be a few Sydney siders up the back there. Uh, but I was elected to Parliament uh, six months ago, and... Uh, we were elected, we were returned to New South Wales as a Liberal National Coalition government to build more roads, more hospitals, more schools. Not social engineering. And unfortunately, what happened here in 2008 has now happened in New South Wales. It is disgraceful. This abortion bill, who was pushed by Alex Greenwich, the member for Sydney, the most probably progressive state seat in Australia, who does not represent the quiet Australians like the thousands I see here today. And you should be congratulated for coming out on a Saturday, not like those other protesters who are living off welfare and protesting and gluing their bodies to the street. <laughs> who are doing nothing for the society but causing disruption. Here are the quiet Australians that kept Scott Morrison in government in May. The quiet Australians that did not want Bill Shorten to put his communist left-wing views on every Christian, Catholic and independent school around the country. But not only are we here to stand up for the unborn, it's also for religious freedoms. We have seen the left-wing, they have gone through our government departments federally and sta in every state, they have now gone through corporate Australia. And we saw that from the last marriage, from the same-sex marriage bill. We have seen it recently with Israel Folau, who's been knocked out of the Wallabies, and they're not going to go too well in the World Cup without him. Let me tell you. Yes. Yes. But we, when we, when I was in March, this is the first conscience vote we had, and we were warned about it. We were sent an email at a quarter to midnight on a Saturday night, and they were going to introduce the bill on that Tuesday. There was no consultation whatsoever. And the reason they did it is because they knew they had the numbers in the upper house. They wanted to ram this thing through the lower house like a dodgy DA at a council meeting. It was absolutely dreadful. And we were managed to hold it back a week. We got some amendments up, but with further pressure, we got some better amendments up in the upper house in the, in the next month. But dear friends, we need you to keep fighting we need you to be leaders in your own circle. We need you to get involved in politics. We need you to get involved in government. We need you to get involved in business and become leaders and fight against this left-wing trade that is attacking us on every turn. Yeah. Dear friends, we've seen the great work that's been done in the United States and America. Like in Victoria and New South Wales, it is legal to abort a child right up to birth. Partial birth abortion 
was banned in the USA in 2003. It was described as barbaric and people were letting it go through Parliament willy-nilly like a change to a piece of legislation. It is an awful thing to see an unborn baby dragged out and their brain sucked out and born dead. We must keep fighting for our young babies. We must keep fighting for life. Get involved and thank you for coming out. Thanks, brother. Ladies and gentlemen, Nathaniel Smith. This is Will's Front, brought to you by theunshackled.net.